Hey guys, welcome back to medical educational video by Dr. Wellness. My name is Dr. Chen Yi Ming. Today, we will be talking about a very popular dietary plan called intermittent fasting. There are many popular diets available nowadays to lose weight. Plant-based diet, low-carbo diet, paleo diet, low-fat diet, Mediterranean diet, DASH diet, and more. Intermittent fasting is not about what you eat, but when you eat. Watch till the end of the video to learn all about it. If you are new to our channel, please click on the subscribe and notification button to receive updates whenever we produce a new video. So what is intermittent fasting? Basically, intermittent fasting refers to a dietary plan where you alternate periods of eating with periods of fasting. When we fast, our body switches from utilizing sugar and carbohydrate from the food we eat to utilizing fat stored in our body as an alternative source of energy, hence burning fat and reducing obesity. If you think about it, humans were designed for intermittent fasting. Ancient hunter-gatherers didn't have supermarket nor 24-hour fast food chains. They had to hunt for meat and to find an animal took days. Sometimes they couldn't find anything to eat at all. So they had to fast for days, sometimes weeks. So fast forward hundreds of years, we now have access to food all times of the day and we snack frequently. And that has led to an epidemic of obesity and lifestyle related medical conditions like diabetes and hypertension. Intermittent fasting as a weight loss approach was highly popularized in 2012 by BBC broadcast journalist Dr. Michael Mosley's TV documentary, Eat Fast, Live Longer, and the book, The Fast Diet, followed by journalist Kate Harrison's book, The 5 to 2 Diet, and subsequently, Dr. Jason Fong's 2016, The Obesity Code. So you may be wondering, how is intermittent fasting beneficial for you? Firstly, it can help in weight loss and combating obesity. Studies have demonstrated that intermittent fasting can help reduce 3 to 8% of weight over 24 weeks. It can also help to reduce waist circumference by 4 to 7%. Secondly, it can improve hypertension and hyperlipidemia and reduce risk of heart attack and stroke. Click the link on the top to learn more about heart attack and hyperlipidemia. So thirdly, it can also help in managing diabetes by reducing insulin resistance and inflammation. If you want to learn more about diabetes, again, click the link on the top right now. It has also shown evidence in improving cognitive function like memory, executive function, and global cognition. However, there are also certain groups of patients which I will not recommend for intermittent fasting. They are growing children less than 18 years old, pregnant ladies and mothers who are breastfeeding, underweight patients and patients with eating disorders, and lastly, diabetic patients who have very volatile sugar levels and are on diabetic medications. In humans, the three most widely studied intermittent fasting regimes are alternate day fasting, where you eat for one day and fast for the next, five to two fasting, where you eat five days a week and fast two days a week, and a daily time restricted feeding, where you only eat within a window of four to eight hours a day. So which type of intermittent fasting would work for you? It is really a committed lifestyle change, so you have to find a plan that fits your lifestyle. There is no hard and fast rule. Some people can actually tolerate going a full day without food, so alternate day fasting or five to two fasting works well for them. Some people cannot tolerate going without food for the day. Hence, they do time-restricted feeding where they will designate certain timing of the day to have their food. One of the most popular and most acceptable daily time-restricted feeding plan is a 16 to 8 plan. You can eat your meals within an 8 hours window and fast for the next 16 hours. For example, you can have your breakfast at 9 a.m., lunch at 12 noon, and finally, dinner at 5 p.m. You can shift your 8 hour fasting window up and down the day to suit your lifestyle. But is there a best time of the day to eat? Recent studies have also shown that there is a circadian system within our human body that orchestrates metabolism in a daily 24-hour cycle. Circadian rhythms in glucose, insulin, lipid levels, energy expenditure, and appetite peaks in the morning to the afternoon, implicating that earlier in the daytime is actually optimal 
for food intake. Hence, if you combine a 16 to 8 intermittent fasting plan and shift the 8 hour feeding window to earlier in the day, it may give you optimal results in terms of lowering blood pressure, lowering post meal insulin levels and improving insulin sensitivity which can give you better sugar and weight control, reducing appetite in the evening and reducing oxidative stress. Now, since intermittent fasting has its many benefits, then is it the magic bullet to cure obesity? From the various studies, there are lots of early evidence that points to health benefits. But I would still want to highlight a few important points or potential pitfalls. Firstly, not everyone is able to endure starvation, so it's not a solution that suits everyone. Secondly, there is no clear guideline on what to eat during the intermittent fasting. If you do follow the 16 to 8 rule but you are taking a lot of fried fatty food, trans fat, eating candies with sweet soft drinks during the 8 hours of feeding, then it would not have any benefits on your health. A wholesome healthy diet is important. Click on the link above to check out the glycemic index. Thirdly, for effective weight loss, you have to combine physical activities and exercise with the diet. Weight loss is always 70% diet and 30% exercise. Please click on the link on your top right to see the health benefit of exercise. Fourthly, there are patients with medical conditions that may not be suitable, suitable for intermittent fasting. So if you do have chronic medical conditions, please check with your physician or doctor for approval before you embark on the intermittent fasting journey. In essence, some form of fasting is beneficial for our health. It could be just as simple as skipping a meal every one to two days or just reducing your current meal size by 50% for every meal or just one meal a day. So there you go, make eating less your new year's resolution. Let's aim for a newer, healthier you in the coming year. Share this video with your friends and loved ones who are considering intermittent fasting. Once again, please subscribe to my channel if you like my productions and find it useful. Till the next time, stay safe, stay healthy.